Karen's cold heart. Um, I'm currently responsible for, for Mount Searle. Um, it was a, a property that originally was mum's home lands, you know. It's a, a 500 square kilometre piece of land, and it, uh, in these high days, some say they ran about 30,000 sheep. Fifteen months ago, when I was traveling to Arkarula, I stopped at Iga Water and met Terence, a lovely man, and he was talking about indigenous uh, people's culture, spirituality, and their sacredness of their land. And while our conversation uh, progressing, I just asked what, how I can help him. And Terence very openly he asked if you can come about to Mount Searle Station and renovate these buildings to fulfill his dreams. The resources of this project open it up for opportunities for our people to come back and do some culturally cultural connections with the area. It's a beautiful country. He had uh, beautiful people and here was an opportunity for us to participate in part of their journey of healing and of reconciliation and of uh, just being a, of a practical uh, and moral support. Um, I'd recently retired and this is something I've been itching to do for a number of years. I've done a couple of short stints with Outback Links in the past but I really wanted to, to get involved in some of these work teams because not only do you meet the local people but you meet a whole bunch of other like-minded individuals and, uh, and as I've found out they're a great bunch of people and we've had a lot of fun. Um, it was beautiful to meet Terence, um, he's one of these indigenous people that puts in just above and beyond for the sake of his community and the betterment of his community uh, to, to um, maintain their culture which is so important to their lifestyle, uh, to maintain their lands which is also so important. They would know they've got stories about every inch of this land and just to share that with them and to be with them and to, uh, to create relationship with them, it's just a, an honour. Absolute honour. They've welcomed us here. We had an absolutely beautiful um, uh, welcome ceremony here by Terence when we arrived. Um, and, you know, we're just all connected spiritually. The spirits of all their ancestors are still here. Um, you know, and our spirits are, are brought in here as well. And we're all, we're all one together and it's just, you know, it's just a huge gift to be here. It's a place for the Aboriginal people and I like the fact that they're telling us what they want to see happen. We're not telling them. It's all coming from the Aboriginal community and we're here to do exactly as they want. And I think that's how it should be. You come to Mount Seal, oh, you know, well, what's happened here? You know, that sort of reaction. And that's the reaction my wife was getting every time she came here. And then just yesterday, when my wife and I came here just to catch up with Sunny, she said, wow, there was a wear factor here. Wow, what's happened here? So already there's a wear factor here. And so it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, I, I'm, I'm speechless with, with, with this kind of enthusiasm. And uh, yeah, I've been, I've been walking around with my mouth and eyes open, you know, this wow, you know, it's all happening. Awesome stuff. Thanks to the Frontier Services program, thanks to the volunteers, I'm so grateful speechless in lots of different ways. I will